years, um, years ago today that mom and dad started their dream with a $326 investment. They never looked back and never stopped dreaming. Mom and dad actually wrote a book, Never Stop Dreaming. A quote from Matthew Kelly, which I feel portrays the way mom and dad lived their life, is called Dream On, and it reads, Live life passionately. Laugh often. Love always. Cultivate soul. Don't be afraid to dream the big dreams and embrace God. So many of us have stopped dreaming for many reasons. So today my wish is that all of you to start dreaming again, never stop, and let no one take your dreams from you. Congratulations on the seventh anniversary of Mom and Dad and Carl's Juniors. You have been my mentors and inspiration and are missed every day. May your dreams live on forever. He was a very kind and generous person. I would say he was a people person. When you once met him, you knew what kind of man he was. He had the biggest hands there was, but he didn't squash your hand. He just put the energy to you when he shook your hands. Back then in the early 60s, there were only a handful of restaurants in the entire Carl's Jr. chains. So it was a big deal every time a new one was opened. The night before every grand opening, our whole family would go to the restaurant to try and eat anything and everything from the menu. We ran the new staff ragged as we ate space burgers, fries, malts, and drank as much soda as possible. We called ourselves testers and took our jobs very seriously. I'm not sure if this qualifies us as the first quality control department at Carl's Jr. Restaurants, but it was sure fun and we valued each event highly. It was a lot of fun growing up in the Karcher home here in Anaheim. Some of my fondest memories are the celebrations of our birthdays. One may think that with so many birthdays to celebrate that it would be likely that a birthday would be overlooked. That was not so. Each child and grandchild was made to feel very special on their day with parties, family dinners, friends, relatives, and of course birthday cakes with candles. Mom was the driving force behind these celebrations. She is the one who baked the cakes, bought the presents, planned to prepare the dinners, and of course took the pictures. Carl's Jr.'s was a growing enterprise at this time, but Dad never missed a birthday or any special event. Mom and Dad were very special people, and they made us feel special and loved. I still miss the birthday cards and the phone calls. However, I know that Mom and Dad are looking upon us today. In our family, there were two verses to the birthday song. First, happy birthday to you, and the second, may the good Lord bless you. So may the good Lord bless Carl's Juniors on their 70th birthday and all the good people who work for the company that my parents founded. Happy anniversary, Carl's Juniors! Happy anniversary, Carl's Juniors! Happy anniversary, Carl's Juniors! My dad and Walt Disney were friends, and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome that they have the same anniversary, July 17th. I know my dad was at the opening of Disneyland, and uh, I'm not sure how their relationship grew over the years, but they would see each other on occasion. And we'd go to Disneyland a lot, and I am sure that Walt Disney went to Carl's Jr.'s a lot. I can't believe that 70 years ago, Ready? he only one, had one two, part. Put your hand down. And look at what he has done nowadays. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's pretty, I can see him. There's wrestling Carl's Jr.'s all over the United States. And it's a great tribute to Carl to have the fortitude and the patience to continue and build. But he was a people man and he cared for his people and that was well how we really got to where we are today. He believed that you could do anything. Like he would never, as children, let us say can't because he said there's nothing you can't do and he firmly believed that. He felt that if you set yourself a goal or you had a dream that you should do everything in your embodiment to aspire to attain it. Well, Dad was a friend of Walt Disney, so he was really excited to be his friend. We came to the opening of Disneyland on opening day, and uh, Dad always, you know, was a visionary and, as Walt. They had a big future, they had big dreams of what the, they could create, and Walt did a fabulous job, as everyone know, uh, knows that uh, Disneyland is a, a wonderful place for people to come, and Dad felt the same with Carl's Jr. He felt that the places he built were places that the community could come, share and eat, and he, um, they were both very big visionaries. Carl Karcher and Walt Disney are two of the greatest examples in this country of gentlemen who had a dream 
were looking for a place that was open and friendly and would allow them to pursue that dream. Um, started their businesses small in this city and grew right along with the city. As the city grew, their businesses grew. Um, and Anaheim today is still one of those places where uh, we draw people from all over the world that have got dreams. And we try to, as a city, help foster those things the way we did with Walt and Carl.